Hey everybody, and welcome to a nice little mini-series that we're going to have going. It's going to be focusing on Prison Architect. Now, my original plan was to go ahead and do an indie snapshot and kind of highlight all the, the updates that have been put into the game since my original indie snapshot a couple months ago, or maybe a little bit longer than that. Yeah, it's got to be longer than that now. But I decided that this is a lot to this game now, and, uh, you know, a lot more than there used to be, and there's going to be a lot more coming, so I figured, why not do a little mini-episode, a little mini-series, and, and highlight, basically, a lot of the big changes that have happened in the game, and have some fun with it as well, since I really have a good time playing the game. What we're going to do is we're going to actually start out with the introduction, so you guys can see exactly how the tutorial works. It's like a nice little party here, some friends, we got Jim, Jim Bob or Gulliford, we got Pennington over here, um... Makinachi over here looks like he's just really hung up. Oh, he's got a spoon! Alright, these guys are gonna be, uh, the poor... The poor cleaners to pick up the, the toilets. Oh, we're building some more cells. The happy music that's playing actually makes me feel like you're like, really, I'm really at home. So I'm happy about that. Uh, we've got some cells going in. Here we go. Some more prisoners. Wow. We got Beef and McJefferson Jefferson in the back left. We've got, uh... What do we call him? The Blood Red is the bottom left over there. Alright, never mind. We got the chief's office, the warden's office, the foreman's office, all things that we can aspire to. Things that they're tantalizing and teasing us with. And look at this guy over here, a little, uh, I don't even know what to call this guy, a priest in Mr. McFiddles. Poor Mr. McFiddles. Prison architect. And that sure is prison architect. So it looks like everybody's going to be moving around. Do we have control? We do have control. That's surprising. Oh, we have a phone call coming in. Oh, well, the CEO's calling. Oh, hello, Mr. CEO. This is a tough one. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. Well, I don't see why that's difficult. We could just kill him off. Look at these guys all naked. Ah, oh, Mathis, pay attention. That's where we come in. We've been, we've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. Oh, is it birthday? Well, that's nice of us. You know, some fireworks for his birthday. This is where I want the new facility to be built. The first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. So let's get started. Construct the new building here. We will also need an entrance to the new execution facility. Build a large jail door on the south wall. Into the south wall. Alright. So it looks like we're going to be building a foundation. And uh, it's going to be a nice big one. But don't. We're also going to be building a large jail. Oh, God, CEO. Um, your workmen are responsible for construction of buildings. They'll collect the steel and the concrete from the storeroom and take it to the construction site. Apparently, I stay construction like construction. That's fine. They'll use the raw materials to build the foundations and framework of your new building. Well, that's good. I'm really... I'm happy that you. Okay, well, there's the slowest part of construction, so you should plan ahead when you build new facilities. Well, thank you, see y'all. Be sure to plan ahead. While we wait, take a look around. Use the WASD keys, or as I like to call them, WASD. Or the arrow keys, you know, the special person's way of moving around. And use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Well, I, I kind of knew that already. Thank you, though, CEO, for the tips. I appreciate it. So let's just move on here and plant the door. That's what we wanted to do. Look at that. Wazdy keys, arrows, zoom in, zoom out, good stuff. And bam! We've done it. I already... I did it, guys. Guys, I already put the door and everything in. Let's zoom ahead a little bit here. We have to get ready for this guy's birthday party. We have fireworks going in and everything, so let's go. The door's going in. Bing! Construct a building. Well, I didn't I? Oh, there's the building. Perfect, perfect. Good, good. I I'm glad. Uh, inside the building, I want a jail cell and an execution room. Alright, I don't see why that's necessary. I mean, it's only the guy's birth. Partition the space by constructing some brick walls. Okay, well, that's good to know. Um, well, well, we'll construct some brick walls then, I guess. Alright, brick walls. Brick wall? I like how it's labeled for me and everything. Brick wall, brick wall, brick wall. So let's get the brick walls going. Uh, I think we'll. I think we can handle that. The construction workers are going to get right on it, so that's good. Happy about that. Uh, good. Go ahead. Go ahead. We got Willie Wallace, uh, Wanifer. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. I, I got no more names for them, but they all should start with W. Walter. There's another one. Um, 
uh, Winchester, and um, I don't even know. Come on, one more wall. Just throw up a brick wall. We've got a birthday party to throw for this guy. It's this big day. We got fireworks going and everything. There we go. Perfect. Brick walls up. I'm glad. So let's. Uh, all right. So that's good. Uh, yeah. Now add large jail doors to the dividing walls. All right. If I have, you can rotate an object before placement by clicking the middle mouse button or press R. All right. Noted. Thank you, sir. All right. So we got a large jail door, and we got another one here as well. Ba Ding. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> we don't longer need this. Can I get rid of it? Thank you. So we've got these guys dropping some jail doors. This is going to be like the party, the solitary party room, the VIP room where we'll have the special guests. Wink, wink. That's looking good. We now need to designate rooms within those spaces. Designate a cell in the smaller area where our condemned inmate will live. Then designate the execution room. Well, I wouldn't call the birthday guy a condemned inmate. That's fine. This will be the execution room. And this will be a cell. Perfect. Done. We got a guard patrolling. It's nice. Those new rooms have requirements before they become functional. All right. The cell needs a bed and a toilet. The execution room needs an electric chair. Well, it's. I, th I feel like this birthday party is getting a little bit more and more dangerous as time kind of goes on. He's gonna get a toilet. He's gonna get a bed. And this is gonna be the party chair, where he can sit down and all the special guests will come party with him. We got some phones going on in the yard out here. Look at all these prisoners. Jesus. This place really runs smoothly. I remember when I played the game the first time, it was like a complete disaster. I don't think anything ran that smoothly. Broomfield over here is got him calling his, uh, his pappy. Um, we've got Noel over here doing his thing as well. Um, what do I need? I have a bed and electric. I placed everything. Why am I... What am I waiting for? All right, here they come. I don't want these guys to see this party yet. It's supposed to be a surprise for everybody. So, Combs over here. Pennington. What's Pennington done? Pennington. Age 16? He's only 16 years old? And he's in a prison with a... What are we, in a juvie hall? Are we killing kids here? Jesus. Okay, CEO needs something from me again. That's the essentials taken care of, but there are still a few improvements you can make. It's up to you, though. These aren't strictly required. It depends how much you care about your prisoners and their environments. Well, I don't give a damn. The cell itself could be improved with an outward-facing window and a small bookshelf. <laughs> I guess he could be entertained while he waits for his party chair. The facility would look better with a higher floor quality, like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. Well, I want him to be entertained as he looks his last days out from the chair. Outside, you could add some lighting and paved pathway if you think it needs it. Okay. And, oh, we're getting a little picture. Nice. I wonder what's going to happen now. This is Mr. McFiddles. This is the man in question, Edward Romsey. Well, you know, same thing. A teacher once. You Would you believe? Oh, he's a teacher? Mr. McFiddles! You taught me math, bro! Come on! It's not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision. We're just here to do a job. Once you are satisfied the facility is ready, you can begin the prisoner transfer to his new cell. Simply click on him to select him, then right-click outside of his cell to initiate the transfer. Uh, then right click just outside of his cell, is that what I'm doing? Alright, well let's let's make his day happy. Let's let's go ahead and make this uh, an exciting let's accessorize. So let's see, what do we need? We could use some uh outward facing windows. Why is why is what Whiteman in here? I feel like Whiteman isn't we'll put that near the wind uh, the thing over there. Also a bookshelf. That's fine. Whiteman does not need to be out here. Perfect. Is there like a pathway I can build or something? Uh, bin. I don't even know. Um, is there like gravel? Can I just do like? Can I just do? All right, let's just get rid of it. That's fine. I mean, he's got lights. He's accessorized. Redo the flooring with higher quality materials. We could definitely pull that one off. Um, let's see. Well, mosaic will be nice, I think, for here. Build a path to the new facility is uh, something we have to do. Paving stone. What do we want to do this from here? This is the holding cell. We'll do it like so. And then, uh, of course, whoops. And then one of these. Perfect. We'll have a nice little path going down. He's going to have mosaic tiles. Look at that. That's going to be awesome. It's going to look great. He's going to love it. He's going to love it. Mr. McFiddles. 
It's going to be awesome. So we've got the paving done. As soon as that's done, we'll, uh, we got to click on him now and begin the transfer. Looks like Whiteman has decided to leave the area. And we can... He's an actor! Wait a minute, this is not all real. Get out there, Edward. A.K.A. Mr. McFiddles. All right, the chief's calling. I don't know what the chief sound like. Uh, the chief is just gonna grab Mr. McFiddles. Seems as though. Don't you shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone cold killer, guilty as charged. He even confessed. Want to hear his description of what he did? Well, of course, Mr. McFiddles. He's been just the best teacher. It's juicy stuffed. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew she was home. Well, we're going to get a little story. Mr. McFiddles was coming home one day. Long night at the office, and by the office I mean school. He had to correct a lot of tests. It was finals week, and a lot of exams he needed to get done. Luckily, his house had a jail door to protect him from intruders, but the lights were on, so he wasn't entirely sure what was going on. But uh, he decided that maybe he should go in and see his... Uh, I don't know. Uh, his, his cousin! His cousins! His cousin and his... Wife, I guess. It's his wife and his cousin. Oh, Mr. McFiddles, I knew I'd catch you two here. Edward! Uh, don't. Just don't. What are you gonna do? And then he cocked the gun. It's just... Mrs. McFiddles had to go down. Well, not until he... Sh wow, this is dark stuff. I can't even... Okay. <clears throat> Mr. McFiddles... But they were just having a sleepover party! No, Mr. McFiddles. I'm upset. Run, Mr. McFiddles. It's time to go. But then he got brought here. Clear as day, if you ask me. Deserves every vault he's gonna get. All men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you so sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment? Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. Well, damn it, it was his cousin. Henderson's tired. Dumber is still awake, though. And he went there with a loaded gun, knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditation murderifying. I don't know why the chief sounds like a moron. I'm really tired. I apologize. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. This state is making an example of him. If he'd committed his crime a hundred miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that justice? Do you want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night, comfy cozy in my undercover jammies when I know he's gone. Alright, well... The chief and Mr. McFiddles can't be- God damn it, CEO! I'm about to have a birthday party! Good work so far. However, there is one problem. The execution room isn't functioning yet, because it doesn't have any power. What is this dude? Dude with the mullet is in here. Oh, he's sleeping in the bed. We need to connect to the electricity supply. Alright, well, I'll do it if you ask me to. Jeez, just ask nicely. Go ahead, tell me how. We are now viewing the prison in utilities mode, which shows us electrical wire and layout from the entire prison. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electric cables. Electrical cables. <coughs> power is provided to the prison by this substation, which draws electricity from the national grid. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Well, these guys have no power over here. As you can see, this entire wing of the prison is still without power. All the lights are out. To fix this problem, we first need to switch into utilities mode to understand why the lights are without power. We were just in utilities mode, bro. The nearest electric cables <coughs> are too far away. Can't complete the wire for this area. Ah, oh, talking in his voice is killing my voice. Extend the electrical cables nearby to cover this wing of the prison. All right, so we're just gonna head into utilities mode electrical cables and move this thing down this way and then we'll of course just drag it this way just to make sure we have power just far reaching now I know we have to basically wait for the workers to swing over here uh, somewhere 
I know they're bringing the, the, the from delivery section. Jesus, and we have we have two de de prisoners that were delivered. Over here, we've got uh, Richardson. He looks really happy. Paul Richardson. He's 23. He's 30. And what is that? Oh, he's garbage. I thought that was some guy wearing, like, night vision goggles. I was really confused. Dling. Perfect. Some electrical supply. Oh, God damn it, CEO. All right, I'll drag the electrical cables this way. Uh, electric can use power to use power cables connected. All right, I get it. One step at a time. The electric chair itself is a special type of electrical si item. It requires its own dedicated power line. You need to connect it up directly with main with mains cables. All right. So we'll go into utilities mode, electricity, and we'll just we have to drag it all the way. I think is what he's trying to say. Just drag it, and uh, here they come. Hopefully this will be enough to get everything powered. Drill it all in. Getting everything powered up. We are going as fast as we can. Here come the other workers. This prison is like a dream for me. I feel like that I could, you know, I aspire to run a prison like this one day. So as we all know, because my greatest dream and goal in life is to, of course, run a prison. Here we go. We're almost done, I think. We should test the new execution room at least once before we try to use it, though. Just go in and turn it on for a few seconds, make sure everything's okay. Well, I don't see what could possibly go wrong. Except it completely surged the entire prison. That's good. Well, that didn't work. Looks like we drew too much power and tripped a circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison is dark. We're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electric chair generates. Can the prisoners escape when there's a power spike like so? First, we need to turn the power back on. This is a two-step process. Step one, switch each capacitor back on by clicking on them in utilities mode. Step two, switch the power station back on by clicking on it. Then build three more capacitors so we have enough power capacity to handle the electric chair. Once you've done that, test the electric chair again by clicking on in utilities mode. Turn it on. All right, so repair, switch on. Switching everything on. Perfect. All right, we've got power back on. That's good. That's good. Now we need utilities mode. And now we need capacitor capacitors. And hopefully that'll, uh, that'll solve our electric chair issue. And that'll be really good. So we'll be able to zap the guy happily. He'll be happy about it anyway. Pretty sure. Good, good. Can we finish up the capacitor anytime soon? Where are the other two? Why is it just you? Um, Josephina. Joseph. Jen. Jenry. I don't know. Why is it just you doing this right now? We Can we get... We have like two lazy workers just chilling out here. Doing nothing. We also have Gaskin. We could probably do something with him. Ingham and Richardson. All three of these guys could potentially do something. Oh, here we go. Jesus Christ. It took them forever. I wonder if they had to go to, like, the storeroom or something. There we go. All right. Perfect. And done we are. We can go to utilities, and we can try this again. And we can switch it on. Perfect. It works. Birthday time. Here's holiday. I don't know why he's still in here. Well done. I believe we are finished with this job. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job, and that's important in our business. Try not to worry about what happens next. Oh, boy. Is it all wet? Okay. So we've got uh, uh, Jesus hanging from the cross here in the, in the church with the priest praying to Jesus. <coughs> and uh, here comes Mr. McFiddles. Is he going to confess? I think he's going to confess, guys. What do you think? Mr. McFiddles, you did what was right, or at least you thought you did. Oh, yeah. I like how they kind of tell it in picture story, actually. I think the tutorial is freaking awesome. I think you did a great job. Can I help you? Dot, dot, dot. Oh, you are now forgiven. Are you looking for forgiveness? I don't... I don't have to do something. Wait. I can't live with the things I've done. You have to turn yourself in. Whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. God will forgive you no matter what. 
what you have done if you ask him to. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way. Oh, Mr. McFiddles, look what happened now. You handed yourself in, and, well, it is time, Edward. You have done the right thing, even though this world will not forgive you for it. You will be with God soon, and he will have the final judgment on you. And look at your sleeping partner, Harry. He's just so happy for you that you go into him, go meet your maker, that he's sleeping. I'm sure he's dreaming of you, Mr. McFiddles. I mean, Edward. I'll be here, watching. Praying for you. Goodbye, Mr. McFiddles. Mr. McFiddles! What year are we living in where we still use electric chairs? Alright. Well. This is, a. Uh, you know, pretty dark, dark stuff for a game that has a very morbid sense of humor. I guess it makes sense. Mr. McFiddles. I believe in you, bro. I have you in my thoughts. Oh, the chef is coming. He's uh, here to, I don't know what he's doing. But Harry is doing his thing. And apparently he's going to wear the black mask. Oh, uh, goodbye, Mr. McFiddles. Goodbye. Edward Romsey, Mr. McFiddles, as some call you, you have been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Suzanne, I'm so sorry. Oh, Mr. McFiddles! Oh. Great use of music, I'll give them that much. Jesus. I'll see you guys next time.